Tolerancing and interchangeability go hand in hand. An interchangeable part is any part designed to be a replacement part. When we buy a part to replace a broken or worn out part, we expect it to fit properly. There would be no interchangeability without tolerancing. Tolerancing is a technique that replaces a single value dimension with a size range. Tolerancing allows a feature's size to vary by a specified amount. It is necessary to specify a size range because it's impossible to manufacture any part to an exact size. The size variation also gives us a method of quality control. Tolerancing is beneficial for mass production, but how do we choose the correct tolerance? I think that experience plays the biggest role. The more practice you have applying tolerances, the better you become at it. However, we are starting with no experience. So how do we choose a tolerance? First, you want to know how your design functions. You don't want to choose an unnecessarily accurate tolerance or small size range. Tight tolerances cost money. But on the other hand, you don't want to choose a sloppy or large tolerance that interferes with the function of your design. Later in this section, we will discuss tolerance tables. These tables give a brief description of what each tolerance class is used for. This is where you should start. Also, you should be aware of the manufacturing equipment that's available to you. Each machine has its own capabilities for hitting specified tolerance levels. Standard agencies compile and publish agreed-upon tolerance classes. The two most common standard agencies are ASME, the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, and the ISO, the International Standards Organization. Published and agreed upon standards make it possible to manufacture parts worldwide and be assured that they will fit together. There are three different methods of presenting standard XY coordinate tolerances. One, in the form of limits. Two, in the form of plus or minus tolerances. And three, page or block tolerances. Limit dimensions state the maximum and minimum size that a feature is allowed to be and still pass inspection. The low limit is always placed first or on the bottom. Limit dimensions are nice because the machinist does not have to calculate any limits. Plus or minus tolerances give a basic size and the variation from that basic size. Plus or minus tolerances are convenient for designers. The part can first be designed using basic sizes, and then the designer can go back later and add tolerances. Page or block tolerances are given in the form of a general note. These tolerances are normally used to cover any dimension that has not been specifically toleranced. Another form of tolerancing is GD&T, Geometric Dimensioning and Tolerancing. GD&T is a subject unto itself and will be left for a later discussion.